And for more on this, we earlier spoke to Peter Kuznick, who is a professor of history and director of the Nuclear Studies Institute at American University, and this is what he had to say. Biden administration is committed to backing Israel as long as the fighting continues. But Biden is under enormous pressure, including from within his own party, to pressure Netanyahu to ease up with this horrific offensive that's taking place. The kind of images that your viewers are seeing, we see regularly on American television and it's heart wrenching. And, and the American people are not in favor of Biden's unlimited support for Israel right now. In the beginning, after Israel was attacked on October 7th, American sympathies were very much with Israel, but the Israeli leadership under Netanyahu has squandered that. And now the American public wants to see the U.S. pressure Israel to go ahead with a ceasefire. The U.S. rejected that, vetoed it in the United Nations, but the American people are very upset. And we see this especially on the campuses. The polling shows that 70% of Americans between the ages of 18 and 34 are strongly opposed to the Biden administration's policies. He's got very, very slim support and he's losing support among uh, black voters. He's losing support among young voters. He's losing support among independents. And so Biden is in a political bind right now as to what he can get away with, even though his support has not wavered that Americans are trying to distance themselves from a lot of what is happening now. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.